Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's continue playing the Swapper. Last episode, we figured out this puzzle that involved killing our clones, and now we are going to move on to this puzzle, which I have not seen yet. But it has a couple boxes in it, as you can see right here. Ooh, so that's our... objective. I'm assuming we can't just go down and get it because the drop will kill us. Oh, there's a wall there. Oh, I didn't even see the- Didn't even see the walls. It's like- it's like Vessel. Um... Wait, is this a lever? What is this? No, it's just a way to get up. This will probably kill it, right? Yeah, okay. But... If I do that... Ah, interesting. Oops, wrong key. Oh, really? Because that's- that's a much easier puzzle. Yeah, that's much easier. <laughs> well, okay then. We're up to 43 orbs. So, I think that everything aside from our objective Still can't go here, because it still says there's an obstacle there. I think that's, like, near the latter half of the game, but look at this, we still got a lot of the game ahead of us. Yeah, we've done a lot of the game, but we still got a lot of it ahead of us. I think maybe we might be halfway, or a third of the way? I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's go... No, here. Yeah, so this is where we need to go next. Alright, we need to take the lift. Take the lift! Airlock. Yep, we're about to proceed outside. Oh... Okay. Let's see, can we make it to the door on the other side? Yes, we can. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I wonder if there's anything out there for us to explore at all. I don't know. Ah, a teleporter. Good. So we can easily get back here. Let's see, what does this say? The Head Watcher is a vast watcher specimen, the first to be discovered on Cori V. It exhibits far more active neurological activity than the rest, seeming to function as a kind of group communications hub. The sample is being relocated to the Mind Science Laboratory, Sector 2, for extended observation following red-flagged radiological activity. Due to extreme weight and dimensions, the sample is unfit for teleport. Uh, Zero-G station exterior, sample to be towed with guide ropes. Interesting. You made it. Good show. But we're running out of time. Dennett and I, we underestimated the Watchers. We have to stop them. Looks like gravity control's inactive. Get it online and come help me here. Okay. Still don't know who this person is, or the other person. But, I guess we'll find out. Why can I not... Oh, cause it's blue light everywhere, that's why. Why is...
Interesting. Oh! That changes the gravity. That's cool. Come on, let me on top of the box, please. Thank you. <laughs> A watcher cannot be ended. A watcher always is. There is only disconnection from the chain. I'm pretty sure that you guys can be destroyed, right? You're just rocks, right? What is destruction? Is it like being changed? Ah, interesting. Huh. Yeah, I can't teleport in here because of all the blue light. You're here. Good. This is the first Watcher we ever discovered. The Head. It sorts, filters, and distributes the thoughts of every Watcher in broadcast range. It also kills the crew. They're like every other living being in that respect. You corner them, and the defense mechanisms kick in. Very effective. Something in the air. We probably have a few hours to live. Unfortunately, these things are practically indestructible. There's no time to jettison them all and nowhere to run. You're going to have to engage it with a swapper device and take control. Once the Watcher Mind is in your body, it'll be harder. Once you're in there, just try to keep it together until I can come and pull you out. I wish you luck, but honestly, it should be straightforward enough. Get away from that thing, that isn't going to work. There's only one way to do this, and it's mine. Right, right. I think there's two people in her mind right now. Okay. Let us proceed. Wait a minute, that's open now? Where's the nearest teleporter? When did that open, I wonder? Uh, okay, let's- let's check this out real quick. The brain specimens are donated by terminal patients and kept alive in a nutrient-rich gel. We offer them life, they allow us to learn from them. Dr. Chalmers is quite aware of the existing ban on testing the swapper device between crew members and is seeking to circumvent it by testing on people who cannot complain. The doctor is practicing consensual slavery. I am practicing the prolonging of life for a good cause. You'd make the same choice in their situation. You don't know enough about that device to make any such claim. None of your theories account for the empirical evidence. Some of them break the law of conservation of energy. Yet with no amount of physical explanation can you communicate to me what it is like to see red, to feel pain, to be afraid of death. Why, if all we are is nuts and bolts, we may as well consider the computer alive. Your account is missing the magic, and when the cards are down, mine is simply easier to believe. So there's some arguments happening. Are we safe? Has the other mind changed again? Okay, well... I wanna go back to that door that opened up a while ago. Apparently, I didn't even realize. We have to get to a teleporter, which is over there. And get over there. Oh 
wait, can we not even get back? Oh, okay. I think we have to find another teleporter further up ahead, then. We can't go back from where we are right now. Oh, I guess we have to go back. Yeah, I guess we have to go over here. Mysterious rock sample. This one... Cause we passed through here, surely we would've seen that before. So, stuff has changed over there. That's a console, and that's a memory terminal. Of course, we can't even get up there yet. That's a hatch, yeah, okay. So... Let's just see where this takes us, I guess. Extrapolating from your behavior thus far, I can only conclude that you're hopelessly deranged. Very well. Head towards control. I'll see if I can't come up with some common ground. <laughs> well, I... That took me all the way where I needed to go. I am an idiot. So is this still malfunctioning? Yeah, still malfunctioning. So this is new. Are we going home? Interesting. Okay, so now we can get here, because of the gravity. Oh, this is a long elevator ride. Well. I had hoped to reason with you, but trusting others to see senses how we ended up like this. No, I won't ask you to examine the evidence and pick a side, only that you act in your own self-interest. I am going to land this station on the planet below. Unless you detach the solar panels first, Theseus will be destroyed. I don't remember if this game has multiple endings or not. Does it understand yet? I do not believe so. I think they're talking about us, the player. Ah. Now, you're looking for three solar maintenance modules. There should be one for each of the major control installations. I'm headed back to command. Have the panel detached by the time I get there. Interesting. Can't... Oh yeah, we can, okay. I was kinda confused for a moment. Solar panel maintenance modules. Oh, that just, uh, flips us. Okay. There's... there's a thingy here. Okay then, I guess we'll have to come back in a moment. Ah, right here is where we can do it. Watcher Sample 1 was recently relocated to the Mind Science Laboratory. Access via the command deck is strictly limited to senior personnel. Control facilities and crews should be unaffected by the specimen's proximity. However, we understand concerns have been raised and seek to address these now. Sample 1 is colloquially referred to as the Head Watcher in virtue of its unique physical appearance. And at present, the research team has no robust explanation for it. Current theories are focused on the possibility of an extinct humanoid species native to Cori B, which may have carved the, the features on the rock tens of thousands of years ago. 
While it is true that tests so far have indicated that sample 1 plays a different role in water hierarchy compared to the smaller specimens, claims that it has possesses claims that it possesses greater intelligence or otherwise poses a threat remain unsubstantiated. Okay. I double swapped. That was a mistake. I didn't even know that was possible. Interesting. So... Well, that's interesting. So I can create one on both sides of this, but when I swap, it clears... the clones. Interesting. Okay, so... Uh... Asteroid excavation. Let's go up first. Oh, <laughs> let's go down first. Ah, teleporter. Awesome. Sixty six. Okay, so this is where we need to eventually go. Yeah, okay. Oh, I didn't realize that was there. from their home. We pushed them, they fought back. Return them to the planet, end the fight. Oh hell, you don't know the first thing about that device she's brandishing so nonchalantly. Why am I even bothering? Okay then. No entry, huh? <laughs> okay, here's another end goal area. Oops. Yeah, yeah, that killed me. Let's take the slow and scenic route, shall we? Oh my goodness, this keeps opening up to bigger and bigger areas. Satellite access. Oh, we've got stuff in here. The head hears me and I hear it. We sing together, all of us, to remind us of the great chain of before. Oh goodness, where is this? This is taking me somewhere. People don't like to hear that the soul is merely an array of chemical signals, that what it's like to be you is just the byproduct of a very powerful computer. I say that if you explain a magic trick by reference to magic, you've not explained a damn thing. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I think it's time to call it. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. It's up to you. And I will see you in the next episode where we will begin to solve the puzzles that are here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.